Hello, my name is Mark Chinesk. I'm Senior Application Engineer with Siler Design Solutions. And in this video, I'll show you how to export your Civil 3D objects to Google Earth KML or KMZ files and bring them into Google Earth. Now I have Civil 3D 2020 open, but this process will work with previous versions of Civil 3D as well. Just follow the similar work path and you should be all right. In this particular drawing I have open, I have some Civil 3D pipe network objects. Now, one of the keys to bringing in your data is to have these objects in a known coordinate system. Currently, in my drawing, if I go to my settings tab and edit my drawing settings, you can see I am in NAD 83 Missouri State Plains East Zone U.S. Foot, or MO83-EF. This will become important because when I do my export, I want to make sure that any files I have are in the right coordinate system so that they plot on the Google Earth uh, location properly. Now, just to show you where I'm at, I'm going to turn on my geolocation. Uh, these pipe networks happen to be uh, at our uh, Siler Instrument and Manufacturing Office in St. Louis, and I'm going to go ahead and export these items out to KMZ. Now, to do that, in my tool space, I'm going to go down here to my toolbox tab. And under miscellaneous utilities, I have a tool here called Export KML. And if I expand on that, there'll be another Export KML. All I do is double click on that, and it's going to open up the Export KML general dialog box. I'm going to give it a name. Right now, it's taking on the name of the drawing, Siler Utility. Uh, description, I've already typed this in once, utility lines uh, for visualization. I'll expand on that. If I had a hyperlink, if there was some other kind of file or a uh, link that I want to put in my Google Earth KMZ, I can add hyperlink information here to maybe take me to another web page or maybe embedded PDF or something like that. Um, I'll hit the next tab. And under objects, I can either select all objects or I can choose selected objects. And if I choose selected objects, I'll hit this button with the plus sign here and it'll let me choose objects either individually or by drawing a window in my drawing. If I had text items, I can select that to export the text. Um, I am going to add the object information to it. And if I have materials like concrete material for this concrete pipe in the storm sewer, I could check on that and it would export the materials as well. But in this demonstration, I'm going to leave that unchecked so that the colors will come in as they're shown on the screen. Click the next button. Now it asks me to geo-reference. Because my drawing is already referenced to NAD Missouri State Plains East Zone U.S. Foot, it's automatically chosen that drawing coordinate system transformation. If I was in some other local coordinate system, I could click this button right here and transform my drawing to match the location if I had those transformation calculations available to me. If I hit the next tab, I can also nudge these. If I've done this maybe one or two times and it doesn't quite match up what I'm seeing on Google Earth, I can go ahead here and change, maybe nudge something north, south, or east, or west. Um, but I'm going to leave this as is. And the elevation, um, I have three choices. I can have the elevation relative to the ground. I can have elevation relative to sea level, so their true elevation. In this case, because I want to just outline where these utilities are, I'm going to drape these objects on the Google Earth ground. Next, it's going to ask me for a file. I'm going to save this to my documents. And there you see it's already given the name, Silo Utility KMZ. I can also choose KML for an uncompressed uh, KML file. But I'm going to keep it with KMZ just so it, it makes it a smaller file and everything's in place. I will hit Save and then click the Export button. Once that's done and the export status is done, it's 100% exported, I can then automatically view the item by pressing the View button here. This will launch Google Earth at this time. There we go, and then you see my Google Earth is loading up, and because it's a little hard for me to find it here, um, one of the things I have noticed with this process is it does zoom you way back out, but you can modify those zoom limits uh, as you go. I do happen to have a bookmark for our office, so I'll just double click on that so it zooms in, and you can see it's added that silo utility to my temporary places, and as I zoom in, then you can see those pipe network objects are now displayed in my Google Earth drawing.
And that's just about it. Um, you can use this for uh, sending this out to uh, other interested parties or just keeping track or doing your planning purposes or, or other types of visualization. And I hope this helped. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at mshinesk at siler-ds.com. Please follow us on our blog at www.siler-ds.com forward slash blog. Uh, and I hope this has helped and have a great day. Thank you very much.